presentation series of YouTube tutorials featuring image posting in MATLAB. Today we're looking at grey level coefficient matrix in MATLAB and we're looking at the texture features and just to say the image processing rights uh, belong to Avinash Upuluru. Apologies if I got the surname wrong. And just to say that Avinash has two versions. This is version 1 or version 1.2 and he also produced a vectorized version there GLCM features 4 which will be calculated much faster but for today I'm going to work on version 1 and we're looking at GLCM grade level coefficient matrices as image classification and the famous paper is by Harlick in 1973 and I just there it's just uh, the IEEE and the abstract is given there and you I have rights to download this in my place of work but you if you're looking at this from outside you might not have it so if you want to read the paper specifically it's available free on this website here says over to you and just to just to explain a little bit why are we doing this today well the big bugbear in image classification is illumination and when you take the photograph on two separate days or even within 10 minutes of each other the illumination can change quite a lot and that can lead to a lot of problems in image classification so you want something that is doesn't change with respect to light and that's texture so Harlick uh, wrote this paper in 1973 where the mouse is there, 83% accuracy for micro photographs, 82% for aerial photographs, and 83% for satellite imagery. So, which is very impressive for 1973, considering he was probably working with an 8-bit camera and the cameras were more than likely analog. So that, you know, so today you have very 16-bit digital. So there will be a big advance there. You'd expect those figures to go up. If you don't know what a GLCM is, uh, MATLAB have their own help files there and just where the mouse is there, you can read that away about what the GLCM does. And one other thing just before I run the code, um, and one other sort of, well, in the same general neck of the woods about image classification is Hughes moments of invariance or Hughes invariant moments whichever way you want to look at it and I also have a YouTube tutorial on that uh, just to say on that one I didn't have the uh, the IP to the text and I got some negative comments because I didn't show the text but I didn't have it but if you scroll down through the the comments um, just there um, there's the source code and the documentation there okay so when we run this piece of code all it does I mean all it does is it gives you these 21 or 22 or whatever they are statistical features of a gray of a grayscale image of a GLCM and I'm not going to go through them all. It just gives you the 21 or 22 there, and then you can use those 21 or 21 statistical outputs to classify your image. So I've put in tons of comments. I'm not going to read them out. So we tidy up. We read the circuit.tiff, which is a standard image. I'll let you read that there yourselves. Uh, Harlick did it on similarity. We'll get to that now in a second. Harlick did it on similarity, which doesn't exist in MATLAB. You can read that slowly at yourself. I'm not going to waste YouTube time. And the nearest that Avanish got to this was to use diagonal offset. So that's what that diagonal offset is there. That's what he's trying to do. So he's trying to replicate the symmetric thing that Harlick did in his paper 73. You use the inbuilt MATLAB function, gray co-matrix. And then... That returns that array there, and then you use that array using uh, Avanish's uh, own function there. 
and you then that will give you a struct and then all I've done is convert it to a table and then I've it just flipped it around so I can see it in one go so we can run that I might maximize this a little bit there's the 21 or 22 uh, statistical features as a column array there they are as a row array and there they are as a struct of their stats table and you can just auto correlation contrast correlation etc and you can see that's given in a the table there energy entropy etc I hope that helps a little for a very interesting area of texture analysis of images. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.